Growing up, Orion Martin has always had a passion for comics. When he moved to China, he was attracted by the unique visual and narrative style of Chinese comics he saw. By reading Chinese comics and cartoons, Orion realized they were incredibly useful in helping him learn Mandarin as well as Chinese culture. At the time, I was studying Chinese, and so it was a really great way for me to study the language. It was uh, in a comic, you have less text, so. You also have the images helping you along. It's, it's really great for learning a language, right? It's a much easier way to read text. Excited by the thriving communities of commercial and independent cartoonists working in China, Orion wanted to do more than just simply read their works. He came up with the idea of publishing independent comics from China and presenting them to English language readers across the globe. This became the start of Paradise Systems. So the first thing I did was start writing articles about their work and I would, you know, I interviewed some of the creators and I would write reviews of their work on, China, on American websites and I was looking to see if anybody would be interested in publishing some of the work and I couldn't really find any interest. So I thought, I'll just do it myself. Uh, people are really enthusiastic about it, you know. Audiences are really excited about the work and they're excited to learn that these aren't people who have like just started making comics. You know, these are cartoonists who have been working for years and who have built up this body of work that they have just never seen before uh, because it hasn't been translated or because Chinese social media is different or for whatever reason, these are all cartoonists that they're not aware of and that's really exciting. Currently, Paradise Systems has been working on bringing attention to Lian Huan Hua, a palm-sized picture book of sequential drawings that were popular in China from 1920s to 1990s. Though the demand for Lian Huan Hua has decreased dramatically in present-day China, Orion hopes more people rediscover the artistic value and beauty of the format. These comics were kind of the, the pop culture of China for a lot of the 20th century. You know, people didn't have access to television or there weren't that many theaters, so everyone was reading these comics and there's a huge number of them. They're so fascinating. The art inside of them is beautiful. And so um, I want to help more people know how cool these are and show them some examples. At upcoming fairs, we're gonna bring some of these books uh, to show people. So the other part of that though is that we'll also be making new books that are kind of in the same format as this. So this is the cover like prototype for one of the new books we're working on. And it's like the same dimensions but it's a new work by a Chinese contemporary cartoonist. Um, so that's another way that we want to kind of think about this important history in, in Chinese comics and how it's continuing on to the present. At this stage, Paradise Systems has published the short comics, but plans to create large projects and more complex books in the near future. Regardless of what the future holds, Orion said there is one principle he will always stick to, which is to financially support artists so that they can continue to make amazing works. If you are interested in purchasing comics books from Paradise Systems, check out their website at paradise-systems.com. For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net or follow our Facebook page at Sanovision Official.